Hey everybody, it's Tiffany and welcome to episode two of Journey to 2020, a Sims Decades Challenge. Last week I introduced you to the Decades Challenge rules. I introduced you to our Sim couple, Joe and Flo Parker. And we have a lot to do this week, so let's get started. Flo is hungry. What do we have in here? Oh no, did everything go bad? Yep, okay. She's gonna have to cook because everything went bad and we did not fill it up with ice when we were supposed to. Oopsie daisy. Joe, let's go ahead and make sure the garden is doing okay. Looks like everything... Oh, we can water some stuff. Get out there and water some stuff. It'll be great. So we have to weed or water things 10 times. So Flo's gonna clean up and then she's going to cook. Still can't do anything with fish. I don't know what all we can cook under these stipulations. So we're gonna be finding that out together. Then yeah, we're just gonna have to uh, keep cooking that tomato soup until we get some fish. We sold the perch. Joe really needs to go find a better place to fish. Maybe this would be a better, a better place. Can you go fishing down here? I know it's late, but you're not even close to being tired. How many things do we water? Seven things? That's great. Everything's looking great, huh, Joe? Chicken tomato soup. Yes, and Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right, grab you some of that. You know, it's not really that cold outside. I did not put any sort of seating out here. I feel like I should. I feel like we should put like some rocking chairs out here. So we're gonna do that real quick. So she can enjoy some outdoor time because she loves that. There we go. Boom, rocking chairs. Okay, why don't you uh, come and sit out here and eat your food? I think you will enjoy that. Even though there's not really a lot to see, you're still sitting outside. So, how's Joe doing? <laughs> he reached fishing level two. That's really exciting, but you haven't caught any fish. How is Flo supposed to cook if you don't catch any fish? Oh, okay, Flo is tired, but I also think that Joe's feeling pretty good. Why doesn't Flo come up and light this and then she can go ahead and change into her jammies. That'll be really nice. And then Joe can come here and they can try for a baby again. Okay, so there's one rule that I'll fill you guys in on now. So our Sims can never woohoo unless it is to procreate. So that's what they're gonna do. Hello, you want to try for a baby? You want to make sure that we, we have one? Yes? Yeah, I wanna do that. I definitely do. Great. You have to enjoy the baby making by a roaring fire. That's great. Really, it is time for bed. So let's go ahead and extinguish all the candles. And they'll just, after they're done, sleep next to this roaring fire. Oh my. There we go. She was like, ooh, I think we made a baby that time. Oh, Joe wants to go read. He's going to go ahead and continue reading Crisis Barn. Oh, he's going to do it up here. Go ahead and light this candle so he's not sitting completely in the dark. Crisis Barn. When humble family man Iris Strauss left the big city to start a farm, he never expected to find a dead French diplomat face down in the hay. Can Iris' uncanny nose for detail and way with livestock help catch the killer before the FBI tears his barn apart? <gasps> First in the epic Iris Strauss mystery series. Wow, that sounds really good. And it's kind of a, but he's like, I'm starting a farm. Wow, I'm so excited. Oh, something stinks? What stinks? Oh, your wife. She is smelly. She'll shower in the morning. You, you don't worry about that. All right, Joe, I think it's time, but it's very cold. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that fire going. All right, Flo has got to go again. Okay. Oh, she's like, I gotta go so bad. Oh, for a chilly morning too. It's Halloween, guys. All right. We have got stuff to do today, including wear costumes and decorate for Halloween. It's gonna be so exciting. Mm -hmm. 
Buffalo 1000% needs to take a bath. So she's gonna do that. Joe has got to go to work at eight. So he should really get up uh, if he's gonna go to the bathroom and eat before he goes. So Joe, go ahead, get on up. Oh no, I left the food out. Okay, great. Joe, actually go ahead and eat that real quick before it goes bad. There we go, she's getting her bath on. Let's go ahead and light all the candles. How are you feeling there, Flo? Yes, we do want to go to work. Hey, right, Joe. Well, you got some time before work. Anything need to be- Oh, yeah, we can still harvest more plants. Go ahead and harvest all these plants before you go to work. That'll be fun. Let us make uh, some eggs and toast. Oh, okay. Well, you're going to need to put that away eventually. All right, Joe. Joe's off to work. Have fun. Have a good day, darling. So we do have to decorate for Halloween. And I don't think we have a box of decorations yet. So I am going to go ahead and get that. Let's put them. So we'll just put it there. That sounds good. All right. So we can decorate as soon as she's done and it looks like she loves this tradition because she is super family oriented she cannot wait to have babies i just know it joseph met kayla while at work hmm. kiala kila florence is a foodie she loves eating discussing and cooking high quality culinary treats okay so go ahead and clean that up Local Green Thumbs are holding a harvest off, a speed grow contest to see which horticulturalist can produce the biggest and best produce. What does Joseph do? Focus effort on cultivating a fruit finalist or spectate the contest for fun as a farming fan? Um, he needs to, to focus his effort on cultivating a fruit finalist. He's not just a spectator. He's trying to make stuff happen. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Flo wanted some OJ. That's great. Joseph entered the contest with confidence. His entry is going to be the world's largest onion. Joseph easily took first place and the onion caused the surrounding area to smell a bit oniony for the rest of the week. Great. All right, clean that up too there. And then we're going to put you in a costume. A lot of these don't exist yet. So what should we put you in? Um, let's make you a, a maid. <laughs> That works. There you go. Ooh, okay. Kind of a sexy maid a little bit. Um, I mean, at least for this time, her legs are showing. Oh, okay, so we gotta put up Halloween decorations. Ooh, spooky decorations. Fun. All right, so we did that. Ooh, we should get some stuff. Let's go ahead and get like a candy bowl. And then like trick-or-treaters will come by too. So that'd be a lot of fun. Let's get a little table great put it right here right next to the front door and then candy bowl yes here we go yay candy bowl candy bowl Ooh. let's see you know one thing i want to know i want to know when carving pumpkins became a thing when was that invented Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Here's a little bit of history here. After many Irish families immigrated to America in the 1800s, they found that pumpkins made for excellent carving specimens, especially because pumpkins didn't grow well in Ireland. So, fun stuff. We're gonna get a pumpkin carving station and we're gonna carve some freaking pumpkins. It's gonna be so much fun. Flo is going to love that. Let's put it outside over here. Right here. All right, Flo. Flo, you're gonna kill this Halloween, I'm telling you. It's only 10, 15 a.m. and you're rocking it. I say we need to carve a classic pumpkin. Come home, your husband sees you like that. He's gonna be like, oh, how dare you show up your legs? I wonder if she's pregnant yet. Disappointing drink, she didn't like her OJ. Uh -huh. you no, know how you could probably not like OJ uh -huh. back then. It was probably delicious. So much fun. And then when Joe comes home, we'll have him carve a pumpkin too. Yay! So fun. Let's go ahead and put a candle in that and stick it out on the front porch. 
All right, look at that. Flo's taken out the trash. That's great. What else? She should probably go gather some water for the house. That would probably be a good idea. Ooh, let's see. Another thing that we can have Flo do is make flower arrangements. That would be fun. Okay, so let's make some flower arrangements. Um, let's see. What's a good... Let's make a holly flower arrangement. That'll be nice. Get some flower arranging skill. Take our mind off of the fact that we don't know if we're gonna have babies and that's all we want is babies. That's what we're here for, right? That's why women were, are alive and exist and are allowed to even speak is because they make babies. It's okay. You got this, girl. Oh, don't worry about it. It'll uh, look beautiful. Uh, kind of looks okay. Uh, oh, uh, you just okay. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, might be allergic. Let's see. What uh, else does Flo like? She's family oriented. She loves cooking and she loves the outdoors. So really, she's like killing it today. Just in general, this is like her best day ever. Oh, okay, she's done. So let's change the vase. It's at a fall vase. Pretty. We should, ooh, we can leave it right here. So it'll be the first thing Joe sees when he comes in the door, he'll love it. You know what? She loves the outdoors. Let's see if Flo can catch some fish. I think we should do that. About to acquire that fishing skill. Thank you for your do hat donation. This will surely keep someone's head warm. That's so nice. Oh, Flo needs to get on um, making socks for Joe. Sometime too. Nope, don't need that. Hoping to catch some fish. It's Halloween. She wants to give her husband a nice meal. $147 richer. Joe's How home and he is so excited that everything is decorated. All right, Joe, you're home and it's Halloween and your wife is super into it. So we need to put you in a costume too. Let's see, none of these things actually exist right now. So let's put you in a mailman, that exists. Oh. Yay. All right, and since you're not hurting for anything, let's go ahead and carve a pumpkin. We're gonna make like a little cockeyed pumpkin here. It's gonna be so much fun, okay. And then after you do that, maybe you can fish some as well. It's not happening for Flo. She's like, I can't catch anything. Let's see if we come down here if you can catch anything. Let's just see, you know, we're not sure. So fun, oh. yeah. Are you gonna catch something uh, here? No, probably not. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Maybe. Are we getting any trick or treaters yet? I don't think anybody's come yet. Maybe Flo's just not good enough to to fish in a river. Maybe that's it. Hmm. Joe finished. Oh, he's wanting to go take a bath. No, 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 not yet, Joe. Oh, he's already naked. Dang. Okay. Oh, someone came in and got a treat. Yay! Oh, she like grabbed it and ran. That's nice. You should come grab a treat, Flo. You deserve it. I'm afraid this household is not in compliance with the neighborhood action plans, clean energy production. Sir, we don't know what that is. This is not the year you think it is. Oh! <sighs> Gosh. From Spooky Candy Bowl. Oh, we got a trick-or-treater! Give her a treat! Look at her! She's so pretty! Pretty Hello. Hello. Pretty princess! Susu! Susu. Oh, got no trick or treater. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what happens when you just walk into people's houses. That's fine. It's mm. fine. Let's go ahead and light the fire. Oh, we gotta put Joe's pumpkin out. There we go. Look at it. Love it. You should warm yourself by that fire there. What do we got here? Let's. Go ahead and just make a garden salad. Make a large garden salad for everybody. Joe's gonna stay out fishing until you finish. Make sure to wait out here for trick-or-treaters. No one's wanting to stop here. We'll be here, kids, when you're ready. Nope. Are you gonna knock or just come in? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe if we get rid of the candy bowl, people will actually knock instead of just walking into our house and taking it. Let's try that. 
because we have this little um, need to fulfill here. All right, let's talk and joke about politicians and then express your fondness for your wife because she's a beautiful, beautiful lady. Oh, we have a trick-or-treater. Come treat this little girl. Aww. She dressed up as a skeleton. So cute. Aww. Hello, little girl. There you go. Bye. Oh, okay. Clean those up. Joe's gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, the bees need their mite treatment again. So let's go ahead and change into your beekeeper suit and apply that mite treatment. Flo's gotta clean up. Let's go ahead and add ice here and then put this away. Wonderful. Oh, we got another trick-or-treater. Oh my gosh. What's this person? Scary pumpkin thing? Oh, Terrifying. So, so. You're welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs> Scary pumpkin thing. Okay. You know what we're gonna do? We changed into our costume. It was great. Let's go ahead and change into our regular everyday outfit. And then we're gonna come back down here and we're gonna knit some socks for our husband, for Joe, because he's in need. Let's see, what should we do? Brown track mid calf socks. Let's do that. So we applied the mite treatment. We're gonna collect the beeswax, collect the honey. They're still so very mad, but I think it's because you don't pay enough attention to them, Joe. So as soon as you do all of that, we're gonna remove the bee. Oh, uh -oh. oh, they're mad. We're gonna test it though. Bond with them. They'll, they'll love you more if you do that. Just chill, be calm. Okay, ah, okay, all right. It's not. All right, we can stop now. Come over here. Have you finished Crisis Barn yet? This we need to know. You have not. So you're gonna read that and sit here with your wife while she's knitting you some socks. So very fun and exciting. Oh, I forgot we need to make sure trick-or-treaters aren't still coming. Oh! Barba, save. Barba. Okay. Knitting level three. Florence can now knit furnishings, mailboxes with cozies and plant holders for everyone. That's fun. Mm, the quality of it's poor. I think it looks pretty. I don't know what they're talking about. I think Flo did a darn good job. Does Joe work tomorrow? Joe does work tomorrow. Oh, he didn't harvest any harvestables. Do we have anything to harvest? It's not looking like it. Everything's been harvested, I think. Oh, this could be watered though. He's not tired yet. He can go water things in the middle of the night. Flo is also not tired. She's just gonna knit away. That's great. Can barely see anything out here. There we go, watering up some plants. There's one. Oh, got the trees too. We're gonna hit it. Yay! Milestone complete. He's got achieve gardening skill level four and evolve five different plants. Oh, and Florence finished her socks. Should Joe fish for compliments. He wants to hear how great he is from his wife. How great am I? Yes, honey, you're great. You're wonderful. Good to know her. You guys are, you know, you're still doing that. It's still all so new. It was about the outdoors because you guys didn't like it outside. And compliment her appearance. Tell her she's glowing. Oh, oh. <laughs> Profess undying <laughs> love. Ooh. Should they go up and try for a baby again? Let's just keep going until we're sure. We have to produce an heir. It's mandatory. We have to do it like now. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Looks like they're gonna go to bed now. Let's go ahead and extinguish all the candles. Guys, Halloween was successful. Very, 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 very exciting. We got our first holiday down in the Sims Decades Challenge. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here, but join me next time for episode three of Journey to 2020, a Sims Decades Challenge. Thanks, guys. Have a great week.